firstly welcome back to our channel for those who are returning to the viewers and and anyone that's new here we don't need to introduce ourselves because our channel name says it and welcome to our pre-travel day we are going to Mauritius. yeah and we cannot freaking it, it doesn't feel real today that's all i can say it does not feel real at all does it um everything's packed obviously because we're in the car and we're heading to the airport we've got an hour and 15 minutes we're flying from Gatwick, we're flying from North Terminal. We haven't done that since... 2019, yeah. we went to Florida last. So we're flying with Emirates, um, like James said, from Gatwick. So yeah. that'll be good to go back from Gatwick again, won't it? Yeah, not to do a stopover flight halfway through. So there was two options when we uh, book in from Mauritius. We could go to Charles de Gaulle in France and then do a 10 hour direct flight to Mauritius or do Emirates from here to Dubai and then we'll have a layover of about an hour and 45 minutes and then we get to Mauritius. So today's a Friday, it's currently uh, quarter to two in the afternoon. We have a hotel at the airport. We're actually staying at the Premier Inn because it was the cheapest hotel we could get around the airport. Like all the other hotels were like 99, 100 quid yeah, plus. We've always been happy with a Premier Inn. We can never... Premier Inn bed, yeah. So when you get in bed at night, Lenny, Lenny Henry comes knocking at your door and tucks you in at night <laughs> for a good night's sleep. Obviously, Ellie's driving. I normally drive. If you've seen some for, our, for those of you returning, when you saw we did this winter crudy back in 2020, that series, I was driving, but Ellie doesn't really do a lot of long driving, so I'm getting her to do the driving. So I can talk to you guys like this. You can see a little concentration in her face. Oh, sorry, I'm really trying to concentrate. <laughs> She's terrible. She's been asking me, she's like, oh, am I in the right lane? Am I going the right way? Yes. I'm, not doing... I'm a good driver. I just don't do... You're doing fine. I don't, do I don't really do motorway driving because James enjoys it. Yeah, so... I do. I do enjoy it, but we're splitting it. I'm driving home, but we don't want to talk about that anyway. So everything's all ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll catch you up when we park the car at Long Stay North. And we'll see you very shortly. We've made it to the car park, safe and sound. Ellie's driven us. You've done a good job, haven't you? Yeah, little apart chip? from one idiot. Oh, we, we had a near-death experience. I don't know if we caught on the dash cam or not, but he, he made his own line between the central line, if that makes sense, and he nearly smashed into the back of a 45-ton truck. Um, and us, and went down us. Yeah, and us. We were, Ellie said we're like a hand length away from the car from clipping us. And he was doing about 90, 100 miles an hour BMW driver. Oh, and it's um, freezing. Yeah, it's really cold today. First rule of thumb, um, make sure you know where you park the car. Little baby's just there. And the bus stop, we have to find. Behind us. Oh, f look, the bus is coming there. Bus stop two. Oh, where's the bus? Bus, bus stop two, this way. Right. We better off. The bus is coming. We You're need to go. Yeah, I will. Well, right, I need to go hand, and the bus is coming. So we've got to go. Quick, quick, quick. We are here. So when we booked this hotel, it was, they said it was a 10 minute walk from the North Terminal. But as you can see behind me, just there, that is the Premier Inn directly opposite North Terminal. You've got Sofitel right next door. So it's pretty easy to get to. I'm pretty convinced, apart from where it's so cold at the moment, I'm pretty convinced the polar bear is going to pop out and say hi to us at the moment. It is that too cold, isn't it? Here we go. This is our hotel for the night. Now sorted. So we're in the hotel. If anyone hasn't seen a Premier Inn, do you want to show them? So you've got the door, obviously. Um, you've got some coat racks, which is really good. You've actually got a hair dryer. You're breaking the room already. Breaking the room. <laughs> you've got like a small sort of like wardrobe space with some spare towels. Not that you can see anything because it's dark. No. And then you have your, your bathroom here. Very standard. I might even have a bath. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have one at home now, do we? No, we don't have a, we don't have a bath anymore because we've just got a walk-in shower. So I might treat myself and have a little bath. And then we've got a double bed, which is usually generally, yeah, perfect, very comfortable. Let me just show you the view. It's not the best. It's of a fence. Um. Oh, freaking it is. Ta da! Best room in the world. Here we go. Anyway, so we're here now. It's, um. Apart from my hands are freezing, like it's so cold at the moment. We're gonna sit down, relax for a bit. So we hope you all had a happy new year, by the way, and a, a jolly little Christmas. Completely forgot about that. We're gonna get settled in, get some of our stuff out, the suitcases, bags, whatnot, and then... We're gonna go over to the terminal for some dinner. I think we're gonna yeah. go to Giraffe World Kitchen, aren't we? Yeah, so we've got to go North Terminal, get the train over to the south. It's a shuttle bus, but it's not a train. I don't... Monorail. Yeah, 
We'll call it's it that. So we're going to be doing that. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now. So we're going to get settled in and we'll catch you briefly later. So we've settled into our room now. We've literally just finished a video that we've done for all our trip plans for Mauritius. I know this is a little bit early to say this at the start of a series, but we're going to give you a clue. It sort of just popped in the way there. For where we're going in June. This is a drink. Local. It's a Mediterranean local drink. We found a supplier near us that sells them. Uh, if you have a look at this, Google it where it's from. We're going to this country in June for a week and we're really happy. So what will happen is we're going to this place for a week, come back for three weeks, and then we have another travel series coming for you, which will be our bucket list destination of South Africa, wouldn't it? So excited for that. I shouldn't be so excited for that because we haven't even got to Mauritius yet. But we've been waiting like three years we for have. the trip. Yeah. And it's your 30th, so it's even better. So it's been worth the wait, isn't it? If you want to Google that, find out where that drink's from, that would be awesome. But for now, we're just going to, we've got to sort out, oh, it's one of the things we actually, we need to do, um, which we haven't showed you. So we have air tags and we put one of these in the suitcase in the zip and then it pings off other people's iPhones to tell you the location, but the batteries are gone on them. So we need to change them. Just more of like peace of mind having this in your suitcase, just to, you know, like if an airline loses your suitcase. I wouldn't travel without it. No, I don't think I would For now. 30 quid, I wouldn't travel without it. Yeah, we watch other YouTubers, Cara and Nate, they've got like over 3 million subscribers or something. They lost a suitcase recently and they didn't have it and then they bought these Apple AirTags in and they wouldn't said they wouldn't travel without them. Mm, I can't get and We've had them for two years. I'll open it in a minute. Looks childproof. Going to chill for a bit, aren't we? Yeah, we've got some snacks. We've got salt and vinegar Pringles. We've got some honey roasted peanuts we're going to have and then we're going to pop over. So it's quarter past four and then we're going to head over to the airport about five-ish to have dinner. Don't know what we're going to have yet. So we're going to be doing that going over the airport. Oh, I don't have scissors. Look, look at that for packaging. I mean, we couldn't. We ordered some Duracell ones but because of all mouse strikes, they didn't come through in time. So we had to pop to the shop before we come. But scissors, why do they create annoying packaging on batteries? Never mind. So here we are at the North Terminal. This is the premier room we normally stay in, but this was like nearly 100 quid. And then we've got the terminal just in front. We were talking about coming to the airport tomorrow with jackets and stuff. I'm thinking tomorrow, because it's so bloody cold here, I'm not sure. Normally I wear shorts no. to the airport, but I'm, I'm thinking. You no, it's too cold. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to wear my jeans, this jumper, this jacket, and when I get into the terminal, I'm going to have to quickly get changed and then whatever, you know. But we're here going up the lovely Gatwick ramp. First things first, we've got to get on this tram just to the side of us here, go to the south turn. We're going Giraffe World Kitchen, not this one, next side along, and we'll see you in the restaurant. So we'll obviously come here in Giraffe World Kitchen here in the south terminal. We've just ordered our starters, and it's just done. Oh, yes, please. Oh, right, yeah? that's nice. oh no, that's for her. <laughs> The side is for me. Oh, yeah. look at that. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. And our drinks have just come. I've gone for a cider. And wait till you see Ellie's drink. Oh, freaking I'm... I never get drink envy, but I have drink envy right now. Look at that. Try some. I'm going to have to try this as well. You're going to regret your choice. Am I really? Uh -huh. Oh my God, wait. Let me try. If you haven't seen, it's like coconut milk. It's just... Tastes like holiday. Oh, I think I've regret my choice already. Ellie feels a little bit shy, doesn't he, at the moment? Really shy. I don't like it. <laughs> Every time we vlog and we come out to airports and travel day, it takes a while to like break the ice and stuff and say, well, don't be shy because, you know, doing this for our memories and we're bringing it all for you as well. But so our starters have come out. We've gone for loaded nachos as starters. We haven't ordered our main jacks, we're still waiting. So it's loaded nachos, they come with obviously tortilla chips, nacho cheese, jalapenos, which we've asked them to take off, guacamole, chipotle, sour cream, and cayenne ranch. So we've just got our mains and I've got the um, vegan katsu curry, which comes with noodles and vegetables. It's really good. But I've oh, got yeah. a bit of food envy to be honest with you. Right. I've got food envy. You've got food envy in mine? Yeah. So I've gone for the chickenless, vegan chickenless burger. What we've gone for. It looks really good. Um, oh, it does. Even the smell, it's got like corn ranch in it or something like that. It's really nice. And obviously, you can't beat classic America. I don't know why, skin on fries are really nice. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. It's quite a lot to get in one mouthful, isn't it? So, uh, we're going to eat. We're going to eat this. Well, we've come back from our dinner. We would have talked to you after the dinner, but it got really loud. There was a group of people that come in and it, I think they were having like a Christmas party, weren't they? Well, Food was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, so we wanted to tell you what the price was. Ellie had a mango. Colada, which I'm fair. I never get envious of drinks or food or anything like that. But Best that drink was, ever. 
So nice, wasn't it? So good. And then obviously I had my boring side of record leg. We had loaded nachos to share. I had my vegan chickenless burger, which had seriachi sauce and my mouth was on fire. And then you had... I had um, the vegan chicken katsu with noodles and veg or something. It yeah. was really good. Really, really, really nice. nice yeah. All of that comes to £54, so it wasn't too bad, was yeah, it? Yeah, no. So we're back. We're just relaxing. It is currently 20 past seven. They chuck the food out. I forget when you go to a restaurant, they just, because it's an airport, they just yeah, chuck it out big. after five minutes. So I was a bit shocked about that. So we skipped dessert and just went, there's a shell garage next to this A23 Premier Inn. So I just bought a bite of chocolate magnum. Of course, James has to get his ice cream <laughs> yeah. on holiday. And I've got a pint of blue milk for a drink. Don't judge. I so, love I love milk. So weird. Yeah, I love it's it so weird. much. Anyway, one thing I wanted to ask you, so if you're obviously you're still watching this because you wouldn't be listening to it now, I want to know in the comments, one, what your worst holiday experience is and what your worst holiday was. Yeah. So I'll tell you mine and then Ellie will tell you hers. My worst holiday, and this was my first holiday, so I went on first choice holiday to Tenerife <laughs> in 2005 when I was 15. And it's the first time I got in swimming pools from when I was younger. So for all you returning subscribers, you know I don't like swimming pools if you watched <laughs> Dubai Maldives pre-travel day last year and stuff. The first part of the holiday was, we were like in a hotel lot, like we didn't have a lot of days out and stuff. Maybe played golf once, but... This one particular day, it was two days. So the first day I had, I thought if I keep my shoulders under water, so the water was like here, and I thought if I don't put sun cream on, I'm going to be fine all day. In the pool all day, considering most of the kids were pissing and stuff in it anyway, but that's <laughs> something else disgusting. Loads of people had ear infections oh at this hotel in Tenerife. I remember got out of the pool at six o'clock, so I've been there all day, no sun cream. I remember getting out of the pool, rinse off like you do to get all the chlorine and stuff of you. I walked up the steps to the hotel room and my shoulders all here, third degree burns, all blistered, popped and everything. And I remember my mum and stepdad had to go to the doctors and get this special antiseptic cream. And I was basically laying on a sunbed like this for two, three days. My friends were taking the piss out of me. That was, that was part one. And then the second part of the experience was they did a barbecue at the hotel. And I remember it, like a lot of people were cutting into the burgers and stuff and there were maggots in them. Oh, it's absolutely freaking, Stop yeah. It. And all the meat, the burgers, the sausages and everything had maggots and freaking disgusting. Oh, wow. And <laughs> the worst holiday experience I've had is when we went to Costa Rica in 2017. It was 27, no, 2016. Yeah, 2016. 2016, we did this trip because it turned out being the best day ever afterwards because the experience was horrible. So we did zip line and went to this canyon and Costa Rica had a hurricane that hit the first time in 200 years. So it shifted all the water levels and everything. And we did zip lining, which was fine. Went to do tubing, didn't tell us we were getting in the river with white water rafters. So we got in the tubing and all of a sudden we saw these dinghies. We're like, hang on a minute, what's going on here? We're in rubber rings. They're in freaking dinghies here with oars and stuff. Oh and they've chucked us in the river and they didn't know Basically, the course of this river. They hadn't assessed it. Yeah. So we were like one of the first people to go through it and they hadn't assessed how like rav like how bad, how bad the, it was the waters and how crazy were. Yeah, because where the water was raging quite a lot on raging, the, the, the they rose high and then they come down, we've got they shifted some boulders about and everything. Yeah. And one bit our guide he stopped us and like, we've got to stop. <laughs> And there's this waterfall, it's 10 feet, he goes, oh, you can go in the rubber ring and just go down it. Like, yeah, of course, I'm going to do that. But anyway, there was another waterfall bit and we couldn't stop or anything. This, I remember in front of me, it all happened. So I had a GoPro on my helmet and everything, I lost it. This woman come down this little waterfall, quite slammed into a rock. And then I went down and followed the same path. Oh I hit her a ring, Don't. went upwards up this rock and then I got sucked under this rapid. The GoPro got ripped off my head completely so that's in the pacific somewhere or under a rock and someone had to pull my life jacket up oh my god that was from just... under me for me that was like the worst i that's nearly my drowned worst experience yeah i nearly drowned i just remember life flashed before my eyes and then after that i think we managed to grab a branch climbed up this hill walked through the jungle in the pissing rain i wish we videoed for that. half an hour i wish a video because after that happened that was like the best day ever like walking back through the jungle and but that experience was that is my worst experience ever on holiday yeah because i it, he probably was only under the water for a few seconds but it felt like minutes yeah that you were under there and i just can't even like, it's horrible yeah yeah horrible, uh, it would never leave horrible. me it, the holiday was bloody fun but that moment in time when we did tubing Done tubing in Mexico is brilliant. Tubing in Costa Rica, no, not no, after a hurricane. Definitely not. No way. Ellie will tell you her. So that's my worst experience because I honestly thought I was going to lose him that day. Um, yeah. And then after that, once he'd come up air, the group that we were with we was with two others and our guide, and obviously James as well. And they all went off into the, I don't even know, they just went off into the distance and I was stuck. 
between two boulders and I couldn't get free. But they couldn't come back to get me because they'd already gone, gone down. because so the river was going quick as well, was going so it? quick and I thought, that's it, I'm never going to see him ever again. Like, I don't even yeah, know what I'm horrific. doing. Yeah, it's horrific, was, yeah. It was just bloody awful and I would it would put me off of tubing, any sort of crazy water, things like that for life now. Like, I'd never do that again. No, so that's your worst experience So that's my worst well. experience. So that's a joint. That's a joint one. But my worst holiday was Egypt. Yeah, and that's that both of us were there as well, so that's why I didn't choose that one. 2014, we went to Egypt, we went to Hergada. I chose the hotel, that was the first holiday, wasn't it? Yeah. Never again. Well, I, do, I got very, better. It since. was a very last minute holiday, wasn't it? So I had um, two weeks off work, or two weeks? Yeah, because you were cabin crew at the yeah, time. Yeah, I was cabin crew and I had two weeks off, but it was sprung upon me like, you've got time off, you can't have time off over summer, so you know you need to use it now. Yeah. So it's a last minute holiday. It was cheap and cheap and as anything. It cost about three hundred quid each, isn't it? Giddy on, it was awful. Like the food was awful. <sighs> we basically spent a whole week. I know this sounds disgusting, but we spent a whole week sicking or shitting, basically. <laughs> I remember shitting a lot. Definitely. Really, a lot of it was shitting. like one on the toilet, one off the <sighs> toilet. It was awful. Like, and we had one toilet to share. It was awful. Is that one of them chocolate fountains you stick marshmallows under? That's what my Bummer was like the old time anyway, on that trip. So that was my worst holiday ever. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I've been quite lucky with holidays. Before I met James, like I used to go on quite a lot of holidays. And I mean, my first one, yeah. that was my first ever holiday. First time I ever got on a plane when I was 15. I and I thought, wow, friend. this freaking holiday is crap. Mm. So I remember coming back from that. A week later, I went went to America for two weeks as well. So I used to Same. bore my eyes out on a plane because I thought about 9-11 and all that stuff. And I was like, oh God, why am I getting on a plane? So we want to know what your worst... So we want to know your worst holiday experience and your worst holiday. So drop us a comment down below. We've told you as. Please let us know yours. We'd love to know. Someone's got something bad or worse than we've done. Look, before. holidays don't always go to plan. And, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes mm-hmm. bad things happen and not everything's hunky-dory all the time. Like, no holiday yep. is perfect, is it? So no. there's always something. So yeah. Yeah, let us know. And if you're new here, we don't show you all the perfect shit anyway. So we're going to show you everything that happens in real life on a holiday because we're normal people. <laughs> so you're going to see that. So if you are new in that and you stuck around, thank you so much. And for all you returning viewers, thank you so much. We're glad to be back on the screens again and bring you back another series. And of course, we're and glad to be going on holiday. Yeah! Travel day tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> So give us a like if you haven't done that already. Push the video out. Give us a like and comment to push the video out to other travellers like yourselves. And also hit the subscribe button if you're new. Stick around for the it's new. It's free to do so. And we'll see you. T- we'll see you next week for our travel day. See you next week. Bye. 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 I pretty much know what I'm going to have for starters, but we'll. we'll Nachos. You. Yeah, maybe. Nachos. Natural. Natural joke. Natural man. <laughs> no, I'm a man. <laughs> you are my man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Free to create a crown. There, create a crown. Create a crown. Did I just say? <laughs> Creating a count? Yeah, what she said. Yeah. <laughs>